The game's flower and journey come from the developer, that game company, and they're expressions of a simple narrative that I found quietly engaging. Compared to many other modern games, Flower and Journey are a striking contrast. They're simple, they use a basic set of controls and mechanics, and they draw you in with a sense of wonder. I usually think of a traditional narrative in a film or TV series as having a beginning, a middle, and an end. Both Flower and Journey seem to have a similar story sense, but that narrative structure is revealed through progressions based on the player interacting and moving within the game environment. For example, when I started at the beginning of Flower, I moved a flower petal across a lush green valley. As I flew around the environment, I discovered that coming into contact with different flowers and vegetation created musical notes and opened up pathways for new areas to explore. So the storytellers are laying pieces of a narrative over a geographic landscape. I'm not necessarily playing a familiar character, engaging in relationships with other characters, where these interactions create viable scenes with dialogue. But in Flower, the more you explore, the more story you discover in the form of a simple narrative. This also applies to Journey. In that game, I played a character with a triangular silhouette traveling across various desert landscapes, exploring ruins and unlocking flying musical notes from caged structures. Without having any initial guidance, I found myself trying to figure out what this game world was by looking around, investigating through trial and error, and piecing together the game logic through the clues. The narrative experience could be similar to a traditional mystery story that we see in films, i.e. I'm trying to figure out what's going on by proactively solving a puzzle. But the game format, as seen in Journey, adds the visceral experience of living and moving inside a world, instead of passively consuming a series of scenes and story beats in a film. More and more, I can see how games are forging a new visual story experience that films and TV series have established. It's exciting to see how these stories told through games could expand our understanding of the human experience.